whenever we are thinking, because at first, I, uh, let me elaborate the subject matter, because uh, here, the intention means the vision of doing something. Whenever I have the vision, whenever I know the reason when I'm doing, why I am trying to do something, that is more important, because whenever I am going to do something, my vision must be clear so that I will be able to reach the goal. And the thing is that action. What do we mean? By, what do we mean by action? Action is nothing but uh, nothing but to uh, do something to reach a reach a particular uh, goal. Whatever it may be. It may be uh, whenever I was just uh, leaving my home to reach that uh, to reach our uh, institute. It, it was our uh, it was our uh, action. It was our action. But the thing is that I have the intention to reach here. That is the thing particularly because if I don't have the particular uh, intention. It is not yet clear to me properly, so definitely it will make uh, different views, different visions. So I will not be able, definitely I will not be able to do this in a proper way. Definitely I, I, I may get distracted from this particular thing, or I may get distracted from any uh, anywhere, and that is the thing I want to say. But the, if the if you do, you have a proper intention, it's okay. But if the no action will be there, then what's the value of that? That's why at first I say that action is more important. But the fact is that we must have the intention. Action is more, means obviously it's important, but we must have the intention to do something. Because if we think that I have to reach a goal, so, suppose I'm giving, I'm citing an example, UP is, UPSC is one of the most uh, toughest exam in this world. I, I, have to, I, have the, I have the aim that I have to crack this. But my reason is not clear that why I'm going to crack this. So how is it possible for me to crack, crack it? Definitely it's not possible. It will be possible for me when I have the vision. Because I want to serve my country. That is the vision. I want to earn money. That is the vision. After that only, we can able to serve ourselves. We can able to do it properly. There must be a particular syllabus for it. If we don't know the syllabus properly, so how is it possible for me to crack this part that particular exam? As it is one of the most toughest exams. Exactly. So that is the thing. Intention is obviously there. But the thing is that after that, after knowing this also, most of the people, they fail to do this. Why? Because their action, action is not, uh, means, um, action, they are not doing something. They are not studying hard. They have the intention, but they are not studying hard. If I know everything, I, I know everything that I, I am doing, so I have to do this. Still, I am sitting idle in my house, keeping, keeping, myself, uh, keeping myself sitting idle in a, in a house will definitely not help me to uh, solve that particular exam. That is the main thing. The thing is that both are important. We have to mark this with intention and action. Whenever these two things will be marked, we will be able to reach the particular goal. Yes, man, whatever, whatever you told that intention, but there is a relation even depends between wish and intention. Yes, okay. yes. My wish is that I will get a UPSC. Yes. Okay. That's why I said vision. I said a particular another, another I word. have a vision also that how to crack, how, how to, uh, what I have to do for that. These things I have that vision. Vision I have. What I told that I, my wish is that I will, I will crack a UPSC. I know how to, what to do, what not to do, what is the syllabus, each and every day, what, how I will prepare myself. But the action, the need. Uh, the water is zero totally. That's why I say the action is more important at first. When you starting while giving yeah. my own opinion, I so it that, that there is, is a more important. Important. What did I told that quiz? My quiz. Quiz is completely different. I wish to be a doctor. There is no reason for it. I wish to be a doctor. If I will be a doctor, I will be happy. If I will not be a doctor, I will be doing something else. But the fact is that whenever I have an intention, I have an intention that I will be a doctor to serve all the people. Treat all the people in a good way. That is the intention, that is the vision. I have to do this. That is the thing. Whenever I have a clear vision of doing something, definitely it will help me. But that doesn't mean that if I have the clear vision but still I am not doing something, I am not preparing myself for a neat exam or anything, anything, anything in the way. So uh, it, has, it has simply a zero effort, I will say. That whenever I am thinking everything, I am sitting idly in a house but I am not doing something. Both are important, we have to merge it. Whenever I have a clear view that yes, I have to do something and still I have a, but I have, I have, I have that much potential, I am giving my efforts to do something, that at that point in time I will find that I am going to achieve something or I will achieve something. Or else, if intention is there, work done is zero, definitely you can't be, uh, you can't be successful and definitely you are doing everything, you are studying hard but still if it is not possible for you to or you don't have any kind of clear vision, uh, you, you can't do anything. That, what gives rise to our intention? Yes, sir. What gives rise to our intention? 
sir, uh, it may be a uh, sir. Whenever, we, whenever, sir, uh, we, uh, uh, sir, uh, any any kind of reason. How is an intention born at all? Sir, intention borns by thinking. Whenever I'm thinking for something, intention borns. How do you think of that? That's my question. To think of something, you need to approach a certain thing. Where is that? Why do you intend to be a doctor? Why do you intend to do certain things? Why? What is the uh, particular thing that gives birth to it? An action, obviously. An action? An action. Such as? Such as, sir, uh, if, uh, some, if I will come to know well, how to serve, uh, how to... Uh, sir, uh, suppose I'm telling that whenever we, we were a child, definitely we had some uh, certain aim. Or we, we had some vision. Someone thought that I want to be a teacher, to teach everyone, I want to be a doctor. What gave rise to that thought? That's my question. Try to understand <coughs> that. Sir, our society, our uh, surroundings. Your environment. Uh, our environment. Your environment. Yeah. So according to your environment, you <coughs> intend. So these days, you know, because of the rat race only, most people intend to be um, doctors, or engineers, in order to earn money. But given the ideal environment, they could have intended something else. Obviously. And then, what sort of actions would have followed? Sir, definitely uh, some other action would be followed. Such have as followed. an ideal atmosphere I'm talking about. Ideal intention, ideal action. But still, uh, I will say, sir, uh, Maybe, uh, maybe that particular person is <coughs> he is forced to do something, but still he is not willing to do. Suppose, sir, uh, in most of the cases we have seen, uh, in, 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 I have seen in my life many of the um, students they are forced to uh, study uh, with uh, a particular subject, but they are not at all interested in studying that particular thing. They are intense and they will act like they are very much uh, means uh, occupied with the subject. They are very much interested in uh, means, uh, studying that subject. But the fact is that in, a, in their mind, what is going on? They they are not at all loving their subjects. They are simply doing because they are forced to do. Whenever this kind of situation will come, intention or whatever action will never take place <coughs> because it will not be successful. I think. So. The quality of the action will be very inferior. Exactly. Sir. exactly. So. What is the right environment for that action to take place? Inspiration sir, plus, I'm sorry, intention plus. Sir, intention plus uh, the uh, I must have that, but uh, I must uh, I must I have to love that particular thing, whatever I am doing. I mean, I have learned, what will uh, foment that? What will fuel that? <coughs> sir, maybe uh, in, uh, it matters. It, uh, sir, it varies man to man. Whenever I am talking about myself, yeah, if I am. Don't you think that you need some external inspiration for that intention to take shape? Sir, I don't think so because... External inspiration. Without any inspiration, your intention may die out in course of time. <coughs> you will not be able to cherish your intention for long if you do not have any sort of external inspiration. Yes, and for that reason, perhaps, uh, we, uh, every one of us needs a mentor or a preceptor, a yes. guru. The guru will, of course, uh, keep that cherished uh, aim going. Yes, sir. And for that reason only, in this particular society, what sort of gurus do you want? What sort? Sir, uh, Gurus of uh, what uh, type? A particular person who will help me to, uh, not to achieve my aim only, who will help me to build my character who will help me to uh, understand uh, and to uh, take the action or to do something, whatever is suitable. What does our society mind. desperately need today? Our society... Do you yes. think that our society needs a lot more doctors, no. engineers? So what is the crying need of the time for this society, which is uh, going to the dogs? A good gradually. Human. A yeah. human, human with a good character. Uh, for that reason, what sort of intention do you need? No intention. Now, do you think that your intention will make you a good person or a holy person, honest person, or anything of that sort? But sir, whenever I am talking about myself, whenever I see my dad, he is a very honest person. Whenever I see my dad, it comes to me that obviously I will follow my dad. I will not do anything wrong. 
So that is also a kind of intention which makes me or which forces me uh, from doing something bad things or doing something criminal activities. Obviously, I must say, even some idol, idols are there, even uh, we can say, uh, just like uh, Sushi uh, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, uh, definitely many uh, means gurus are there, we are following them every day, and they means, uh, their ideologies are simply forcing us not to do something. Even some people still they are getting distracted to it. Uh, I will say that uh, definitely to be a good character, we must uh, have that intention also. Thank you. Thank you.